What is six legs and flies? No, no, no. Insects. Insects are cool. Uh, bees are insects. Of course, when you're around bees, you gotta be careful. Get, get it? Be careful. Ow! Dog! Got it! Ouch! Breathing room here. Bill by the Science Guy. Inertia is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. Brought to you by insects, a part of your world for over four hundred million years. Hear that? Insects are everywhere. Everywhere. There's more insects in the world than there are other animals. There's so many insects that, that if this lab were a patch of forest, there'd be enough insects living on that small piece of land to knock this door right over. <laughs> See, the insects in the world outweigh the animals. Outweigh! All right already. Even though there's millions of different kinds of insects living all over the world, insects all have a lot in common. Take a look at this. It's our giant insect model of science. <laughs> now, in order for scientists like you and me to call an insect an insect, it has to have three parts. A front or a head. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> a middle, what we call a thorax and a back, a tail, what we call the abdomen. Now, insects also have to have six legs, three on each side. Now, you and I feel the world around us with our skin. That's how we tell whether or not something is smooth or warm. But insects don't have skin. In fact, insects don't have a skeleton inside them either. Right, Terry? Right, Bill. <laughs> no, insects have their skeleton on the outside. It's what scientists call an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. So you with me? Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton, skeleton on the outside. The exo. It's kind of like an airplane. Airplanes are hollow tubes that are hard on the outside. And the skin of the plane gives the plane its shape and stiffness. The material of insect exoskeletons is kind of like the material of your fingernails. So, to be an insect, three parts. Head, thorax, and an abdomen. Six legs, three on each side. And a hard exoskeleton. Insects are weird, but they're also kind of cool. Right, Dave? Shut up. And now it's time for Insect or Not? A cockroach. Insect or Not? A big hungry spider. Insect or Not? Spider Man. Insect or Not? This has been Insect or Not. I'm Queen Latifah. In a bee colony, the queen bee is in charge. Back to you, Bill. Thanks. You know, the queen bee right here is in charge of the hive. She lays all the eggs to make all these worker bees, and they make all the honey that a beehive makes. I mean, you've got to be respectful of the queen bee. You've got to be respectful of the queen bee, if you know what I'm saying. Ow, 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 ooh. Hey, what are you guys doing? For all their differences, the ants hold one thing in common, the ability to dig.
Digging is second nature with them. In fact, their engineering is so exact, the ants think nothing of making tunnels neat within a fraction of an inch. Want to see an insect's entire life cycle? It's easy. Just take a piece of fruit like this papaya and put it in a jar. Then place the jar near an open window. Wait a few days. Okay. If you see any fruit flies, then rubber band a paper towel over the top to keep them in. The flies will lay eggs in the papaya. The eggs will turn into larvae. Then they'll turn into adult flies. Imagine, growing up only takes them two weeks. But don't take my word for it. Try it. Attention fellow humans. Next time you see one of these critters yeah. with the skeletons on the outside of their bodies, chew on this. Insects outnumber humans and other animals combined. Most insects go through something called a metamorphosis. That means change. They start out as an egg. Out of the egg comes a larva, which turns into a pupa, which turns into an adult. Hi, everybody. Unlike people who grow by just getting bigger and bigger, insects grow in stages. A complete transformation has four stages. Let's start with stage one, the eggs. Pat, tell us about them. These are butterfly eggs, Bill. Some of a limited number produced each year by the beautiful and elegant monarch butterfly. Those are tiny, cute little eggs. Now we'll go to stage two, the larva. Pat. In butterflies and moths, it's called a caterpillar. In flies, it's a maggot. It's the larva, the creepy, crawly, worm-like second stage of an insect's life. Now, stage three, the pupa. Pat, tell us about these dormant brown guys. The insect is in a protective covering while it transforms. The pupa is as functional as it is beautiful. And finally, we go to stage four. The pupa emerges and transforms itself into an adult. The form of the insect we've all come to know and love. It comes complete with three sections, six legs, and one or two pairs of wings. That's all the time we have. See you next week on Insect Stages. So long, everybody. Mr. Nice Clothes were provided by Exoskeleton 500. Promotional consideration also provided by Thorax Airlines. The termites rarely appear above ground. When they emerge like this in their winged phase, it means they're starting an annual migration to form new colonies. But before they can try their new wings, the ants stage an ambush, putting an end to their plans. Honey, can I have some potato salad? Richie, eat your crust. Richard. Eat your crust. Entering the courtroom is the plaintiff bow weevil. Was it self-defense or insecticide? Theirs was a cold, 
smelly world, where the ancient art of Dung Fu could mean the difference between life or death. I am Steve Kutcher. I am an entomologist. And I have a house full of bugs, and I love bugs. I think I'm a little weird because I really love it. I've got grasshoppers. I've got ants. There are over a million different species of insects, and man hardly knows anything about them. But these are some of my favorite cockroaches, and they, live, they come from Madagascar. They're called hissing cockroaches. And then hiss. I've got tarantulas, scorpions. This is a tarantula. This is a whiptail scorpion. This is an emperor scorpion. They're bugs, they're cool, but they're not insects. These are mealworms. They're gonna turn into beetles. I've got flies. I've got over a hundred things here. And you know what? I need help feeding all these things. And people say, well, what purpose are ants and cockroaches? Ants and cockroaches are the garbage insects of the world. They clean up all the mess. And if it weren't for ants and cockroaches, we would have more garbage than you can imagine. This is a darkling beetle. It only eats plants. And they tickle when they walk across your, your arm. Because what they're really doing is they don't have a nose like you do, so they use their little mouth parts to smell. Insects are cool, but you have to remember that some of them bite, pinch, and sting, so you have to be careful what you pick up. Did you go out the window? Yeah. In the ant world, the fight for survival becomes open warfare among the various species. And the bitter rivalry between the red ants and the black ants is as old as ant history. See, the stump is just crawling with insects. <laughs> See all these ants? They live in the stump. The ants have made all these tunnels. The uh, stump goes in one end of these ants, and compost, this fine soil, comes out the other. Now, this is the kind of thing that becomes the soil that plants, trees, and grass live in. See, we all depend on insects. Insects here are eating a, a stump sandwich. Looks good, doesn't it? I just don't even know where to start. Attention, humans. Insects grow in stages, from egg to larva to pupa to adult. And if all the world was a stage, then watch your step, because insects rule it. Any questions? We see with two eyes, see? But each eye has one lens. Now, most insects have two eyes, too, like this is uh, Hymenoptera apidae, the honeybees. But each eye is a compound eye. Compound means many. They have many lenses in each eye, kind of like this ball. There's many paths for light to take. Now, if we could look through insect eyes, we'd probably see something like this, like looking through a kaleidoscope. Many images of the same thing at the same time. Boy, that's a lot of me's, isn't it? It sure is. Insect brains probably blend these images together into something like this. So an insect might be thinking, I know what I'll do. I'll fly over to that bright patch of light. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Quit bugging me. See that bugging me? Get it? Bugging me? That's your insect compound eye comedy right there. Did, Did you, you know, know that? that? Some insects can lift 50 times their body weight with their mouth parts. Humans have about 700 muscles, grasshoppers about 900, and caterpillars up to 4,000. Now you know! Hi, I'm Bernard Lewis. I'm an entomologist here at UC Berkeley. And most of my research deals with termites. There's over 25,000 here. Welcome to the villa. It allows us to do research on a large scale. Basically, I get paid to be curious. In the case of termites, how and why do they cause damage and how do we control them? Here we have a naturally infested wood, a stump or a log from the forest, loaded with bugs, no problem, we're not concerned. Over here, though, we have wood from someone's home. See the nails? Just take a chunk out of it. As you can see, I think we have a problem here. Most of these are workers, the big ones, that the 
you old dark heads are soldiers. See him trying to bite me? There's another big one in here with wings. That's the new queen. See that? Isn't she pretty? But most of the termites you see in here are the workers. Their, their job is to eat wood. I, I know most people think termites do bad things, and they, there are some that certainly do. But they also do, do good things. If it wasn't for termites, we'd be 100 stories deep in dead trees. It's their job to make sure to recycle or decompose the trees back into the natural setting. Tell me, Grasshopper, when is a skeleton an exoskeleton? Ah, uh, when it's on the outside? Tired of trying to pollinate all your flowers, fruits, and vegetables? How about all that dead, rotting wood? Wouldn't it be nice if you had a little help sometimes? If you're sick and tired of trying to do it all, why not try insects? Insects work, so you don't have to. We're insects. We do good things for life. This airplane is like an exoskeleton. See? The skin of the wing helps hold the wing together. But airplanes aren't quite as sophisticated as insects. Look at this. They have an internal support. Insect exoskeletons don't need these. No, no. Exoskeletons are way cooler than this. This is a dome house. The skin of the dome gives it its strength as well as its shape. And as strong as this dome is, it's still not really as strong as an insect exoskeleton. Domes are great for camping, though. What do you think of this exoskeleton? Protects the soft, squishy stuff inside. I'm okay. I'm okay. Want to go big game hunting? Want to go little game hunting? First, we need a net. Bend a coat hanger in a loop, then staple a plastic grocery bag to it. Now, off to the hunt. If he gets down here, I'll get him. I love collecting bugs. Um, collected bugs ever since I was four. Man, I got two in one shot. I'm gonna carry all the pollen on his legs back to the nest so they can make the wax. It's a good catch. Very interesting. I like learning about them a lot and taking them and mounting them and learning how to mount them and how they fly. Oh, cool. This will make a perfect specimen, won't it? You know, you don't always have to, like, take them home, put them in a jar and just look at them. A lot of them you can find their food plant and uh, rear them. Oh, wait, it's a wasp. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Let's see what type of wasp it is. It's an ichneumid. It is? Ooh, it's a good one. Oh, cool. Monster caterpillar. One, two, three. <sighs> got him. I got him. I got, got him. him? All right. Get Whoa. that. It's a big one. Big. A grasshopper makes sound by rubbing its leg against a wing. Much like I draw my bow across a string. A cockroach makes sound by blowing air through its spiracles, holes along the side of its body, much as I blow air through holes in this clarinet. A cricket chirps by rubbing a scratchy wing part against a scraper wing part, such as I rub this stick against this wooden weiro. A cicada has two drums in its abdomen. Mine are in front of me. And now, all together! Humans, listen up! 
insects have skeletons on the outside of their bodies, and they grow in stages, not continuously like you or me. Oh, and another thing, they rule the world. There's more of them than us. Science! Listen to me, our citizens. Me have something for tell you about the creatures that dominate the world so very, very well. Them no me, them no you, them man no humans. Them no me, them no you, nor are they fools. Me talk about the insects. Me talk about the insects. Me talk about the insects. Yeah, man, insects rules. Said them are more insects in uh, this world than there are all of the boys and the girls. They grow from egg to larva to pupa and finally adults. Six legs, three body parts, all them feed do everything that them need to do. They pollinate the flowers, decompose the garbage. Them are insects and them are live large. Them no me, them no you, them are no humans. Them no me, them no you, not are they fools. Me talk about the insects. Me talk about the insects. Me talk about the insects. Yeah, man, insects rule. So the next time you want to smash an insect because it bugs you, just be aware, citizens. They're going to be here long after you. <laughs> our show. Thanks for hanging around. You'll excuse me. I've got some larvae to watch metamorphosize. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Get it? Be seeing you? Ow. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. So George, you're an apiologist. Yes, I'm an apiologist. And what's an apiologist? That's a, that's a beekeeper. How many hives do you have? I ha we have about 400 hives. How many, how many pounds have, of bees? If we go into bees, that'd be about 40 million. A lot of bees. A lot of bees. A lot of stingers. So, George, why do bees have stingers? It's, well, the bees have stingers to protection of their hive. Why do you wear this? To keep them from stinging me. Oh. But, uh, it's stuff that's stinging. That gives black skin. Get rid of that thing. Put it in my pocket. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get stung. It's a joke, George. <laughs> no. I, I got stung three times there. Ouch. Mm -hmm. For real. Or are we back to pollination? Yeah, you want? Ow! Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ouch!